In this lecture, we're going to look at creating a countdown, or actually a count up, animation using the built-in, actually two techniques. We're going to use the built-in counter text effect, and we're also going to do it manually. And then I'm going to show you some applications that I've done. So we're going to bounce all over the place here. So here we are in Create Studio. Let's create a new project, and we'll call it counter we'll make it 1080 and yeah black is fine so I'm going to show you the basics of the counter idea so I'm going to add some text it's called your text now but what I can do is I can change the text uh -huh, whoop, to label my counter so I want to call this counter and notice that labels the layer over here in the timeline but I'm about to change what shows up on the screen because we're gonna go because this is text we're gonna open it up and we have text effects now remember we looked at well we've done none <laughs> we did the typewriter effect remember things get typed out we did doodle and we did random characters but we haven't done the number counter yet let's do the number counter and here we get to choose whether we're counting up or we're counting down from zero, what, whatever we're counting to. Let's count down. And I'm going to start at nine. <laughs> Was it not? I'm going to start at nine and I'm going to count down to zero. Now, if we want this to be a second counter, then what we need to do is I've got 10 numbers that are going to be gone through. So if I stretch this out to 10 seconds, this will turn into a second counter. And notice how our counter text on the screen changed to the first number in our counting sequence. So let's go ahead and run this animation. That was a second counter. And remember, if we look at the configuration, I can count up, I can choose from and to what I'm going to count. And it just increments or decrements the number. So that's the basic counter. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is let's get rid of the counter. And I'm going to show you how to do this manually. Sometimes I do this manually just so I can have control. And actually, I do it manually because I didn't have enough experience with the text effect of the number counter. And now that I'm familiar with it and comfortable with it, I, I feel better. But this is what you can do, is I can insert text, make it zero. Let's make it bigger. Center it. Make that one second long on the screen. Duplicate it. Pull that out to after the one second. And make that... Whoa, you, you changed on me. I want that. <laughs> oh, I've got to be over it. That's right. There we go. So I want this to be one, and then I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna make this one last a second after that, and I need to put the playhead over it, and I go, let's make you three, oh, I'm sorry, two, <laughs> two, and then I duplicate it. I think you're getting the idea here. Let's put the playhead over it, this two, we're gonna to change to three, and that's far enough. Let's not go all the way to nine. Now, if I play this, it does the same thing at counter. So you have two ways of doing a counter. You can use the built-in text effect of number counter, or you can do it yourself just by having numbers show up every second. It's up to you. I'm beginning to lean more towards using the number counter feature 
because it saves a lot of time. It takes a while to duplicate all these numbers. Now, once you have all these numbers together, this is a cool thing to do. Select all these layers. And group them. Now, if you want to repeat your number sequence, you just take the group and you duplicate it and pull it out here. And now we're going through the numbers twice. Now, this is the basis of the digital counter that I created. Let's go ahead and save this, and I want to show you my digital counter, and I want to show you another effect, too. Let's go down to... The problem is I have to find these things amongst everything that I've been doing. So let I'm going to cut this out. There we go, digital counter. Now what this does is it does a second counter, and it's doing it by applying the count effect to this digit, and then account applying it to this digit. But this is the tens digit, so this one increments every 10 seconds. This one increments every second, and it looks like this. I think you get the idea. So, that's one of the things that we're going to look at in the workshop at the end or the workshops at the end of this course is creating this counter. So that's one application for the counter. You can have just a countdown on the screen. Here's another cool countdown. And I can't find the countdown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Facebook group where I posted it. And here it is, finally, the counter as I posted on the Facebook group. Now, this is to resemble a, a movie lead-in, you know, where they have the countdown. So check this out. So you can get very sophisticated with countdown counters. In the next lecture, we're going to look at color-changing text. I'll see you there.